Okay, so here we have the Unreal Chroma SDK. It's a runtime module for Unreal Engine 4.5 and above. So specifically, it has the same API as the other Unreal Chroma SDK, uh, which has a min version of 4.12, except for it's been backported to 4.5. Okay, so in the game project, there's a sample blueprint library, and the sample UI widget invokes these sample methods on the blueprint library which is invoking the blueprint library functions in the runtime module. Okay, so if you launch it from here, here we have Unreal, and to see what's going on, I'll open up the emulator here. Okay, so within game levels, there's an animation level. Okay, and this under UI, there's an animation widget, blueprint, and the level is loading this blueprint so that when you click buttons in the level blueprints, it's using the click events on the buttons to invoke that sample blueprint library. Okay, so if I go and play and open in a new editor window, here we go. And here we have some methods for playing composites. There's examples of using hotkeys on top of animations. And then there's animation specifically playing one at a time. So playing composites will com play all the device types at the same time. Whether you play it one time through or loop it, you can stop all the animations at the same time or pass a clear event so that they're clear. Or you can specifically play animations per device with the same kind of thing. And also there's you can set a static color if you want all the keys to be the same color. Okay, so here we go. Play composite. That's going to go through and play the random animation one time. And these are animations that exist in the content folder. So later when you do a build of the game, you want to copy these chroma files into the Windows build content folder. And then uh, that's all you have to do. Uh, the All these play... Uh, commands are passing the name of the animation uh, minus the extension. Uh, and all th they just have to exist in the content folder to be picked up. Okay, so here's the emulator, the editor, and uh, with it running. Okay, so play composite plays through one time. Loop will play the random animation, and when it finishes, it will loop again. Stop will stop whether it's being looped or just playing and clear will clear all the devices. Then we have animated. So this is showing some hotkeys with an animated animation being copied to the random animation. Static color will play the random animation and it's just setting a static color on these keys on top of the animation. And then hide will hide the hotkeys. And then specifically, if you wanna play the individual animations, Okay, so Chroma Link, there we go. So that's playing the fire animation one time, or you can loop it, you can stop if it's looping, set a static color, or clear that device specifically. Same thing for keyboard over here. It's playing the fire animation one time, or it can be looped. You can stop whether it's playing one time or whether it's looping and set a static color and clear. Okay, so all these buttons are pretty much the same. You can find the source for the buttons in sample blueprint library, and there's a naming convention. The blueprint functions all start with sample. Uh, there's the start and end, which is called from begin and end play events, and then play composite loop would be the loop. Stop, clear that they all correspond in, in order left to right and then top down. Okay, so there's composite functions. Here's the sample for showing animated hotkeys. So it's just an array of keys. The enums specify each key. And then before you modify the keys, if it's closed, it'll automatically reload the animation from disk. It's specifically loading the random keyboard animation. Since uh, this will only work for the keyboard. 
Uh, for the animated keys, there's a source animation that we're copying from. So that's this fire keyboard animation. And we're copying all the frames from that source into the target given this array of keys. And there's the static color function. So same thing, an array of keys. There's a target animation, this random keyboard. And we close it so that we're starting fresh with all the keys on. And we're modifying the, that array of keys, given the animation, the array of keys, and then setting it to a specific color, in this case, red. Hiding the keys, all that's doing is just closing the animation so it reloads from the disk and then playing it with looping on. And then uh, the rest is the device specific sample uh, blueprint functions. So it's just playing a specific animation with looping on or off. Looping has the loop flag set to true. For stop, it's just stopping the animation. And actually there's a couple ways to do this. If you look at the API, there's also stop by animation type. And I, I think I use that in another function. So you can either stop using an existing animation uh, that's already playing or stop by type, which takes one of the enums. Oh, here we go. It's, it's using it here. Okay, so you can stop animations just given a type. Um, there's also a stop all if you just wanna stop all devices. And then uh, to set a static color, we use a linear color and we're calling the create effect static. You pass the device enum and then the specific color you want. You get an effect result back and then set that effect. We'll display it on the keyboard. And then you can just delete the effect once it's been set. It's the same for each of the devices. They just use a different enum and I give them a different color. Okay, and then uh, to clear, uh, there's just a, a clear function that you can call on the plugin blueprint. And that's, that's it for the sample code. Um, all, this, uh, all these blueprint methods are blueprintable, so I could have put it in the blueprint code. Being here in the sample blueprint, you can actually see the code in the syntax for if you wanna invoke these blueprint methods from within your game code. Okay, uh, and then to make these blueprint uh, methods available, you just need to go to your game build file and include the Chroma SDK plugin in your module list, and that'll make it available from your game code. Once you modify your module list, just make sure that you regenerate the project so all the dependencies are found, and then uh, just include the Chroma SDK plugin blueprint library, and then all these methods are invocable uh, from your C++ code. So that's in the plugins, the blueprint library. And you can read more about the Chroma blueprint library in the API section of the documents. Okay, and thanks for watching.